welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here i'm, I'm gonna love you and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back fam welcome back sweethearts as you can see guys i have no makeup on my skin is really tired i don't know how many times i've applied makeup in this week because even yesterday i had makeup on so i just decided to come here today and just you know be me okay i've been me but like <laughs> be natural and yeah just embrace this natural beauty all right <laughs> video um i'll be talking about piercings Pierc piercings um i'm going to be talking about piercings as you can see by the title of the video um it's going to be a short video try to make it short i know guys i'm putting my cool don't really have much to talk about um regarding this topic um yes it's just things that i wish i knew be before getting piercings but like specifically a belly piercing is it a novel am i I don't know if it's a novel gamambela but i know it as a belly ring i really hope you like my video you comment and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't please 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 do subscribe i'd really 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 appreciate it so without wasting your time let's just get into the video okay guys before i get into the video um i just want to say this ne? these like these points or rather things that i wish i knew are just based on my experiences with piercings so i believe um as people we're not the same so we won't have like same experiences when it comes to piercings. some people have their own um experiences and things that i went through probably some people didn't go okay i know some people didn't go through it even if they used the same things that i used right so yeah please note that okay like okay except for these we don't i'm not we are not counting these ones right i've had like four piercings so far and i'm only left with one and this is it so um i've had the the smiley the smiley piercing first then this one then the i don't know what it's called but the one ella like this part and the belly ring all right and honestly speaking um this one the one like what is it called the smiley the smiley piercing was not painful right if if you want to get a smiley just no goody um out of 10 i'd rate the pain two out of ten right uh, i took it out because guys i took it out because it be like food sometimes i don't know ganjani but the dirt would just stuck up here you just have to brush it now when you brush your teeth i did that but yeah it it, it, it just got <laughs> so annoying it annoyed me right that's the reason why i took it out and then this one this is my my darling my darling this one is just okay the pain is like four out of ten and the healing process is not really long it can heal after three weeks Oh, six weeks you know depends Guti Sinjan like as I said Guti we are not the same we don't react to things or our bodies don't react to piercings the same way right so yeah this one this one is my darling I, I'll never I don't think I'll ever take it out and then I had the one like the ear piece the piercing I don't know what it's called I think I'll just search it then write it somewhere on the screen but I think guys we all know it except for me so this one was just like okay it was painful but i don't know I, I i think the ring the ring that i got just was just something else guys like ah uh, 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 no no like yo no i had I, I had blister after blister after blister after blister until i took it out and yeah okay let's just pass and then, and then the belly ring the belly ring guys belly ring wow the belly ring guys um a problem like okay i had problems with it i had that ring for like a year and it still didn't didn't heal and i was told Guti, it will heal after six weeks like six weeks to a year right and i was like okay since it didn't heal after six weeks it means i'll have to wait for one year hey <laughs> The first thing that I wish I knew, like I feel like this one is very important. I really wish I knew that 
I need an original ring. <laughs> like, guys. <laughs> okay, the guy who did my piercings, um, his prices include a ring. Nah, his prices include a ring. And obviously, the rings are not like original because why would he charge 180 for a piercing that includes the ring and the ring is original and obviously the ring wouldn't cost like 180 right rings are not original and we all know that right so i i really wish i knew like i would have bought like a ring an original ring nah, i don't think i would because I was like, I just, I just loved the thought of having the belly ring. So, um, yeah, like there was a time I posted about my, uh, my piercing that it's been a year, but it's not healed because I got blisters. Guys, it was so pain painful. At like, at one time it was okay. Like it showed, okay, the process, you know, it's healing. And just when I thought it, it, it is really healing, it would go back to the same condition that it was before. Like, oh, child, if there's one piercing that, yeah, that put me through the most is the belly ring, guys. Yo, yo, I, I'll show you the picture of how it really looked like because I was like, I, I, I'm really giving up because it was not working. One girl suggested that I check the rings at American Swiss or La Visa. Guys, American Swiss. Yeah. So she said if I decide to pierce again, I should go look for a ring, like an original ring from American Swiss. Be um, in that way, it will heal quickly, meaning my, my body um, didn't react well to that ring that I had thus it didn't heal it didn't it didn't and besides like I if you decide that you want to get a belly ring and you've never had a piercing before or even if you've had a piercing before please get an original ring you like if you don't have money save save for the original ring just in case because I also didn't know Uti my body would react so badly towards the piercing because I've had this one I've had this one and this one is also not original but the like my piercing is healed like gashly like no pain at all and then this one I'd get like pains sometimes the piercing is okay sometimes I'm getting pains like what the fuck sometimes I could like I'm one person who wears like high waist jeans so apparently you do not wear high high waist high waisted jeans when you have that piercing it's a lot like too much acne like oh child no you know guys the second point <laughs> okay the second thing that i wish i knew uh, guys you know i knew this but i didn't really take it seriously like sometimes i'm ignorant you know very ignorant on time so the piercing shouldn't like be touched regularly i'm one person who okay i, I wouldn't say i enjoy pain no but like i i can i can like i don't know well, yeah, was bigger zela, and sometimes when I have pain somewhere, or maybe I've hurt myself, I don't know why. I just don't understand. You know, I don't know if it's high tolerance and pain, but it's that. It's that. But like, yeah, guys, like I touch the piercing like regularly. I just push it. I get it. It's like this. I'd like push it down, push it up. Sometimes I'm touching the ring without like noticing that I'm, I'm actually touching it so obviously my hands wouldn't be clean all the time so each time you want to touch your piercing or you clean it make sure that your hands are sanitized or watch and get labo with your hands are clean like if you, you're thinking of touching it just get up go wash your hands i'm not sure if sanitizing is okay because right but just wash your hands then touch your piercing because guys i think that's another reason why i had blisters okay but i touch it but not like a cool I think that's that like you see that that it added to um the, the the healing process being slow and you know the setbacks i don't know if i'm correct but one mistake that i did all the time all the time hey <laughs> guys i'm embarrassed i'm embarrassed
the third and the last thing that i really wish i knew was that the the duration that i've been told about like my two problematic piercings were that they didn't really um heal in that specific time that they told me that heal because now we people are not the same if like someone's piercing healed in like six weeks it doesn't mean mine will heal in six weeks as well so like yo guys i mean i had yo it, it really depends on your body or how your body reacts to piercings and all that i think that's how like Omiyono Munye has that old experience. I remember there was someone who was doing makeup and she told me she got her belly ring like months after I got mine. But hers was healed, mine wasn't and we had the same ring. It was not original. We had the same ring. We did the process, like the cleaning process the same way. But we are fine now guys. We are fine. It didn't work for me. I think like um you should not like have that thing you're good okay it will it will really heal in six weeks because it really depends on your body in all honesty i am okelani i prefer like <laughs> um what prefer piercings the fact i prefer tattoos over piercings like uh uh guys like i feel like with tattoos it really heals in that in the period that they tell you like they tell you see um Okay, the last time I got a tattoo, I was told Uguti, I have to put on like a wrapper or plastic for 48 hours and I should apply Vaseline. It will heal perfectly after two weeks. What's that? Two weeks? Yes. Hey, hey, hey. He said 10 days. And after that 10 days, that's like two weeks, but yeah. It was really healed. Like tattoos don't require, oh, cleaning. They don't require, like, Oh yeah, yeah, they dwell by you. You do the thingy, the process of Vaseline or whatever that they tell you to apply. After 10 days, it will be fine, like perfectly fine. Obviously, it will peel, but it will be fine after the 10 days. So, and the, like me and piercings are not friends anymore. When Papa was trying to explore, you know, I was trying to be the girl that, that I thought I was. But <laughs> piercings showed me, Uguti, no, you, you are not. You are, you're bluffing. I think this would be helpful to people who want to get piercings, especially the um, the the belly piercing. So yeah, that's the end of my video. <laughs> Guys, we've reached the end of our short video. Like I said, let's keep it short. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my video, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I do, honestly, guys, Yangela, like. Please subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Before you watch, you have to subscribe, right? I really appreciate it and I really hope you enjoyed my video. This would be really helpful, I think, to people who are looking to get a piercing, especially the belly ring. So I think, yeah. And please tell me your experiences, guys, down below. Like, if you've had a belly ring, how is it? How long did it take to heal? And all the stuff. Please don't forget to subscribe. And until next time.